IBC today in the 06 edition simply tells you to go to Appendix D to ACI 318.05. So, so what I have told you so far is that every single anchor in California now must be designed by Appendix D of ACI 318.05. You have absolutely no choice in the matter. And this appendix is quite different from the strength design or ASD that you have been used to. Not only that, it is a matter of fact that anchors that used to work out in the past will not work out anymore in many, many situations. Okay? And, and, and there are reasons for that that I would like to discuss with you. Now, this Appendix D of ACI 318 covers headed balls, headed studs, hooked balls that are cast in place, and expansion anchors and under, undercut anchors installed in hardened concrete. Okay? So that is the scope of Appendix D. Anything that is not mentioned there, like an adhesive anchor, you simply cannot design using ACI 318 Appendix D. You have to go to other sources. Now, this concrete capacity design method predicts the load capacity of an anchor, a single anchor or a group of anchors by using a basic equation for tension and another basic equation for shear. Each of those basic equations is for a single anchor in cracked concrete. Cracked concrete is now the benchmark. That does not mean, emphatically does not mean, that ACI 318 is telling you your concrete is always cracked. No, that, that's not the implication. If you can show that under surface loads, the concrete in which your anchor is embedded is going to be uncracked. The stresses are lower than modulus of rupture, for instance. Then you can apply a correction factor larger than one. You can increase the strength that is for cracked concrete, the benchmark strength. A group of six balls that are half inch headed balls, uh, this is the material. Yield strength of the material 36 KSI, the tensile strength 58 KSI. Those numbers, again, you can read from a table that is in Chapter 34 of PCA's notes on ACI 318. So that is a pretty handy source. Concrete strength, the usual 4 KSI. The embedment depth, 12 inches. The uh, thickness of the concrete into the screen is 18 inches. So you have 18 inches of concrete physically and the anchor goes in 12 inches. The design category is C. Concrete is assumed cracked at service loads. Uh, and anyway, the rest of it you see in the picture. The, the shaded is a, is a base plate and, and the lighter color is concrete. IBC still changes every three years. There are code hearings every 18 months because there is a supplement in between. And, and if you can satisfy this IBC structural committee, you can have amendments made to ASC 7. The force levels in ASC 7 can be changed in the code. Now, this is obviously the most immediate remedy that is available to us. So we have submitted a number of code changes for inclusion in 2009 IBC, okay? And I want to, want to share some of that with you. What I'm going to do is try to uh, discuss uh, first uh, post-installed anchors uh, in a general way with you and talk about not just the way you design with them, but the way we have to qualify them in order that you can design with them. And that's changed pretty dramatically uh, over the last uh, five years so that while well, you see a big change in the code, there's been a lot of other stuff going on in the background 
for us to try to get ready for this. And uh, some would say we're not ready for it because we don't have enough products yet, but um, we're getting there. And, uh, and I'll try to give you a little window into that process, what we're going through to get products qualified, what it means to qualify a product now versus what it meant five, ten years ago. Uh, and then we will try to cover some examples like SK did, but I, my examples will be sort of a little more off the cliff type of examples where uh, we look at things that you might be able to do to uh, make it easier to get uh, along with the code with respect to ductility and with respect to the needs of the anchor uh, so that the anchor doesn't become the weak link in the, uh, in the load path.